Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, no Camaro video, but this is something else. You remember this starter, right, from a past video? Well, uh, I have a, a friend of mine that teaches an automotive course, and it's like a basic course. And instead of having the drawing of a starter, I figured I'd help him out, and since I have it, uh, you know, I was going to cut this open. And since it's already, you know, junk and all, I was going to cut it open and show, you know, all the gears, the solenoid and all that and all and such and, you know, how it all works. So, first I'm going to tear it apart and, uh, get it ready to be cut open. Just using my cutoff wheel. I have the right safety equipment. Face shield, safety glasses, gloves, wrenches. And I'm going to start tearing this apart. I guess I'll put you on a tripod and you can watch me as I take it apart. halfway put together and I just wanted to say one thing it would have been cool even if she, I don't even know if Chevy still uses this kind of starter in cars anymore but these uh copper I believe they're called brushes if I'm wrong please correct me uh, I never rebuilt a starter before so I don't know too much about them but uh Instead of having them like how they are, the, the spring loaded and shoot forward, and you gotta hold all them back as you bring the drive back in. Why didn't they make them like you push them back, they lock, and then when you push forward, they snap right on, you know? That would have been a cool invention. I would have liked to have seen done. But, like I said, I don't even know if GM uses this kind of starter anymore, but looks pretty cool. Already cut apart. I got the other end already. So you can see the whole setup. Yeah, I'm almost done. So, you know what's one funny thing? Show my screen. Look at that starter. Look at this one. It's the same thing. Uh, you know, in the book, I know you can't. I don't know if you can see too well. I'm trying to look on the screen. Yeah, you do. There's the whole starter hookup. That's what I did. Inside here, like that. So you see it all. See the motor, see the Bendix, you know, the, all that shit. Too bad, I, don't, I would love to like have a f set full out and have like a piece of, too bad I couldn't get a piece of flywheel and like I just tack weld it to that Bendix drop so you could see it look exactly like that in the picture. That would be awesome looking, but I don't. So, that looks cool enough, you know. Kind of set it up right where the bolt hole was so you can see how it bolts. I didn't want to cut open the solenoid because that would be too much of a pain in the ass. But it's just too small and it pretty much explains what it is in the picture. But that's a good display piece right there. Uh, there you go. All I did was I got my cutoff wheel right here and I cut, cut out this, this little piece here and this part here right out there you go so it's a good thing looks cool I mean this is a pretty cool piece to have this would be something cool like I told you my friend he teaches an automotive course in basics you know I gave me one of the books and all and uh yeah you know, I told him I said look I got a busted starter we could use, you could use as a display item you know in the book you could have it out front of the desk or something so it's like alright cool you know set it up 
make it look, you know, make it look like how it does in the picture, and that's what I did, you know. There you go, guys. Uh, I'll try to have more up soon, but uh, for right now, here's a quick video. Later.